Sodium. Sodium is a mod that takes Minecraft performance to the next level. Literally, it can double, sometimes triple, if not quadruple, FPS from vanilla Minecraft to having the Sodium mod installed. One of the cool things about mods like Sodium is that it can also do things like increase your FPS enough for you to be able to actually get a higher render distance and different things like that. Things like that that can happen when you increase your FPS. So, nevertheless, we're going to go over exactly how to get Sodium in this video. And first things first, we need to download it. So go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our complete guide on how to get Sodium. Sodium, and what you hear is click on this uh, yellow download sodium button. It will then take you to a sodium's official download page where we want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 1.19 section. Now I know this video is for Minecraft 1.19.1, but sodium 1.19 works without any issues in Minecraft 1.19.1. So we're just downloading this version here. Even though it says 1.19, it is for 1.19 and 1.19.1. So go ahead and click the orange download button there. And while Sodium is downloading, have a notice of our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Host, and go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love Apex so much, we host every single Minecraft server that we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting, and at Apex, they have 24-hour, seven-day-a-week support. Lastly, should you want to add mods, plugins, or mod packs to Apex, they support all of those and actually support one-click installation of over 200 mod packs. So go check out Apex again at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour Minecraft server. Now let's, let's go ahead and get Sodium. We've got Sodium downloaded here. You may need to keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. 100% safe to do that. Over 10 million downloads of Sodium. Congrats on them for passing 10 million. I then need to download the Fabric Mod Loader. Fabric is the mod loader that allows Sodium to work in Minecraft. You can find it linked in the description down below. I believe it's the third link down there. And once you come here, this is our complete guide for getting Sodium. Long story short though, just go ahead and click on the Download Fabric button here because we're going to go over all the basics in this video. Should you have issues though, that's where this tutorial can come in handy. Nonetheless, on the Fabric Download page, you actually want to click on Download Universal Jar here. The reason we're doing that and skimming the Windows version is because if you download the Universal Jar, you will be able to install all their Minecraft mods after you get this. So it's, it's very very important to go ahead and do this one. That way you're set up for the future. If you want Forge mods or other Fabric mods, you've got this set up. So let's go ahead and click the Download Universal Jar here. In the bottom left, Fabric will start downloading. You may need to keep or save the file in the bottom left of Chrome or save it in the center screen on Firefox. Now let's go ahead and minimize our browser here and go ahead and move all of these to our desktop. Do that, click the little one icon, top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. And yes, this tutorial is completely working on Windows 11. In that little Windows uh, menu here, we want to go ahead and type in, search for, excuse me, the Downloads folder. There it is, Downloads. Click on Downloads, and in here we have Fabric and Sodium. Drag and drop these to your desktop for ease of use. We're actually going to be starting off with Fabric here, so let's go ahead and do that. Right-click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or my icons don't look like yours. My, my, my little Java logo, my coffee cup logo, it's not here. Well, in both of those scenarios, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, including Sodium, including Fabric, including Forge. Even Minecraft servers require Java 17. So if you don't have it, go get Java 17. It's an in-depth guide on our website. It goes over every single step of getting it. It's super in-depth. And uh, you'll leave this going, wow, that was super in-depth. I now have Java 17. After you've went through this, you may need to run the jar fix. This is also linked down below, of course. And it's a simple program that links all the jar files on your computer back to Java, making them work happily together. So those logos that are broken, they'll all be fixed, right? So these will actually be like mine now. Finally, let's go ahead and install Fabric. To do that, right click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. It's going to open up the Fabric installer here. We want to make sure 1.19.1 .1 is selected, then click Install at the bottom. It's going to go through, install the Fabric Loader, and boom, there you go. Fabric Loader successfully installed, click OK, and close out of it. Now, that may not have worked if you had three different things happen. One, Minecraft is open. Two, the Minecraft launcher is open. Or three, you've never played Minecraft 1.19.1 before. If any of those are true, go play Minecraft 1.19 and close out of Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher, then reinstall Fabric. Nevertheless, once you have installed Fabric, we can delete it from our desktop. Let's install Sodium. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher here, and you should have this Fabric profile, right? This Fabric profile here, Fabric Loader 1.19.1. If you don't, no worries, we're going to show you how to create it. But no matter what, you need to click on installations up here at the top. Then you want to make sure modded is checked. As you can see, unchecked modded fabric disappears. So we want to make sure that is selected. Then if you have the fabric loader here, awesome. Skip forward a couple seconds. Otherwise, click on new installations here if you don't have fabric loader 119.1. In new installations, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it sodium 1.19.1 because that's the mod we're getting. And then we want to click on the latest release version drop down box here. And we want to select release fabric loader. And then at the end, it should say 1.19.1, which ours 
does right there. Select that. I'm also going to change the resolution so once we get in game, you can see better, but that's it. Now we can click create in the bottom right, and we want to go ahead and hover over either the fabric loader installation that's there by default, or the one we created, doesn't matter which, and click on the folder that appears. Then in here, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, I don't either. It's not in here. So let's go ahead and right click, create a new folder. I want to name this folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. So we have this new mods folder, right like so. It must be spelled exactly like that or it's not going to work. Go ahead and open up your mods folder and now drag and drop sodium from your desktop into this newly created mods folder. Boom, there we go, sodium is in there. By the way, you can install sodium with other mods as well, so it is worth mentioning that. And we can go ahead and close out of our mods folder and we can launch up Minecraft. So fabric loader here, click play, click play again, or the Minecraft fabric loader installation you created. It doesn't matter which, as long as a fabric loader is under the installation you're playing there, you are good to go and launch up Minecraft with it. So I will meet you in game to show you that Sodium is working. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. Now, if we look in the bottom left, we do see fabric is installed, but that doesn't give us much clue as to Sodium. If we go into options though, in the video settings, this is Sodium. It completely changes the look of Minecraft from the top down, like it's absolutely insane. You can do a different render distance, you can do simulation distance, brightness, all this is here, but also additional quality settings, cloud specifically, biome blend, all the stuff that you might actually be familiar with from Optifine is in here for the most part. Performance, we've got all these different performance settings that we can do, and then of course we do have some advanced settings as well. There is so much you can do with Sodium, and it actually is gonna increase FPS so much, it will blow your mind. For example, if I jump into this Minecraft world, I know there's no like comparison here, right? We don't know what my FPS was before with vanilla Minecraft, but with Sodium, installed, we can press F3 once we get in game, and we can see I'm getting right away over 100 FPS consistently, and actually over 300 FPS once everything is kind of loaded in, right? If I'm standing still, not moving, we can achieve well over 200, if not 300 FPS. So awesome stuff there. That's all you need to know about Minecraft Sodium and how to get it in Minecraft 1.19.1. Should you have any questions though, let us know in the comment section down below. We're more than happy to help you out. As you can see, there's over 300 FPS standing still. Insane. At this point though, you now know how to get Sodium. We'll see you in the next video. Give this one a thumbs up if it did help you out and subscribe for more incredible content. My name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.